Let's talk about the difference between a reference map and a thematic map. Reference maps are designed to find things or to help you locate things. So they can be used for things like locating features, finding your way from one point to another, measuring the distance along such lines, or just sort of referencing spatial information, telling you where something is. Thematic maps, on the other hand, are more designed to communicate an idea or a theme. They also can even be used to argue a case for something, why some one uh, type of land distribution might be better than another that's being proposed. Or they could just simply be to illustrate a concept that you're talking about. Let's look at some examples. Here's a reference map. This one is from the U.S. Geological Survey, and it has all sorts of information on it associated with um, this island called Long Island, as far as where the roads are, other features, um, contour lines to show how high things are, all that sort of information is captured on this map. A similar map is published by NOAA, the, the National Oceanogra Oceanographic and Atmospheric Administration. This one is specifically a, a nautical chart used to show how deep the water is so that if you're um, if you're navigating a boat, you would know where it would be safe and not safe to go. So those are two examples of reference maps. Thematic maps, on the other hand, are showing some kind of story or theme or idea about the land. This is a thematic map of Italy, which is showing the various land uses around here. It's not really designed to navigate from one city to another or um, to help you find a particular point but it's more interested in showing you the pattern of the different land uses and helping you to interpret why, for example, um, some of the vineyards might be where they are. This is another thematic map. Even though it shows the Mississippi River, it's not used for navigating the Mississippi River, which actually shows up as that sort of ribbon of no color down the middle of the map. What this is trying to show instead is where the Mississippi River was historically as it meandered back and forth. And in this case, it's using different colors to show how long ago the Mississippi River was in those locations. So it's more interested in showing the history of where the Mississippi River was as opposed to how you can navigate down the Mississippi River at this time.